Welcome to Audio Discourse Season 2, Episode 2, Take 2. Uh, we didn't get Take 1 because uh, Corn has some technical difficulties. Apparently somebody's downloading porn in his household. Uh, I'm not going <laughs> to say who. Um, but, oh, I fucking hate retakes. Okay, so catch up, right? Um, so obviously people have watched our first episode of the uh the the helios iem and uh did you guys watch the the first episode of the podcast yeah of course i, I did of course naturally i love all that. Uh, it was uh kevin kevin from subtonic talking to android of course <laughs> yes of course the, the best um so like i think um i'm gonna go into a different pro- approach because take two i'm not gonna do the same thing with take two take two is too stupid um okay corner what did you think about Kevin from Subtonic. Um. Well, he's still as mean as usual. <laughs> nah, but uh, really, I'm I'm very much happy to talk to you again and see you guys again. Well, you you see Ken every day, but like no, no, I mean <laughs> not me, but the content of 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 what came out of my asshole. <laughs> well, it's just usual rush things. Um. Yeah. I I really miss doing the podcast. Um. Like one and a half years ago. So really seeing uh, you guys again, uh, back again at the podcast. And now with webcams, wow, it's an upgrade. <laughs> mm, yeah, so um, so obviously you guys um, are your, your separate thing now. It's uh, called mm-hmm. Subtonic. Uh, Ken, I, I, I'm, I'm curious about like this, this collaboration, right? So like, what, what is your relationship with uh, uh, Symphonium and what like how is this collaboration like what part of like collaborate like what part of of this IEM is subtonic in, in charge of I guess that's what I'm asking you can so so well I as as I mean some of the public have uh, known that subtonic uh, is a design house and symphonium uh, will manufacture for, for us and as a partner right so during our R&D process and Hey, we, we, we have a lot of technology that are not very common uh, in the market. Um, we have in our R&D. And Symphonia was like, hey, you know, those, those are cool technology. You know, like, um, well, would, it, would it be all right, like, like we use it in, in our IEM? I'm like, okay, you know, we can discuss it. And, and we and got the, the, the team in, you know, Con, et cetera. We, we discussed, like, hey, you know, like, uh, we can make it a collaboration. And then we will help with the tuning. Um, um, well, with all technologies, of course, and of course, the, the most, um, what do you call it? The key technology is our technology set, which I leave it to Con to explain. Sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, uh, so, so, yeah, so our flat technology, it's, uh, it's an attenuator circuit specifically designed to um, make the frequency response uh, unimpeded, meaning uh, when you plug it to any source, uh, it has no... Um, no variation in its frequency response. So every single source will sound consistent in its uh, tonality. Um, and obviously that's not like a breakthrough thing, right? So like it, it, a lot of other, other, mm-hmm. other companies have, so like, what, like what's the difference between your like linear, whatever uh, impedance technology compared to say, let's say 64 audios? So our flat technology uh, uses a very different kind of, uh, not completely different, uh, kind of um, circuit going on, uh, where we use different kind of methods. But most importantly, um, it, it, it is not a, it's not a technology that can be like, like this one circuit can go on everything, right? It, you have to design every IM in its parameter to make sure that, hey, every IM remains flat in its um, yeah, electrical impedance. So... Um, be, uh, depending on what IM they're designing, uh, the parameters of the our flat technology is very much different throughout every single model that you produce. Okay, so like it's it's just kind of like a name and less of a general circuit board that you put on every single IM. Is that what I'm getting at? Yeah. So 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 if, for example, um, you know, we have the basic tuning up, and then I'll look at the the. The circuit. I'll look at the impedance. I'll look at the measurements, and I'll I'll design a specific, um, circuit for to fit this model, to fit this design. So yeah, it's more of a spirit, um, the method. So I I do manual calculations because you know we'll do it in trial and error. 
screen ID. Yeah, but right. It's not and just right. It's it not like a plug-in. It's not like a plug-and-play thing, right? It's not just like you can plug it out of a of an IEM and you can plug it into a different IEM with like complete different circuit that you will get the same result. It's something that you have yeah. to well, you like specifically well, design for, right? Yeah, I mean it can okay. work, but will not be optimized. Right, right, correct. Um, okay. Um, well, I'll move on from things that I don't really understand to things that I do understand. Um, so, so when I heard the IEM, right, and and it was kind of like a rush, like because Anthony gave it to me and I heard it, and I was like, oh, this is like, this is very like you guys. Like, I can't understand like why you guys would tune it this way because um, before like subtonic is even a thing, I knew you guys for a very long time through the forums, through like doing the podcast. This is like very you sound signature, <laughs> right? <laughs> um, and and uh, I I think like this is like I I can say like, I can and and Anthony asked a very good question about comparing the Helios to to Critical's first collaboration with Fearless Don. It has like a very similar like I I understand what the Singaporean boys like, and that's very like tuning to the Singaporean boys away. Um, I say that is because that um. Uh, why the four BA can? Well, okay, I, I mean, so... like that. That this is very you sound signature, right? But this is not very you in terms of like picking the drivers, right? Right. So, well, well, so Helios, um, was set to launch before we um, uh, came into the picture, but you know, due to COVID. Uh, due due to the whole situation, and the release was delayed. So it's sort of a blessing in disguise because, um, with with the with the situation, it's like, hey, well, we're gonna delay the, the launch anyway. So might as well improve it, right? So hence the collaboration. And okay, no, was was for VA. So like the the plan was from the start to make it better, and it was well. Of course, the shell, everything, everything was, was repaired. So basically, we use the exact same drivers, but I supercharge it together with the with the whole team, of course, and and all technology. So so, okay, so keep going. If you're, if you're talking about like limitations or, or four drivers, or you 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 are you're, you're saying that hey, you know, it's, it's all BA. You are thinking like if it's me, it has to be DD. Is, 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 was that well, yeah, I, I know you. I know you well enough for you to yeah. for your love of dynamic drivers. Yeah, but the interesting thing is before even this collaboration started with Symphonium, when we were doing our R and D for our own uh, flagship models, uh, we know how to make BA sound like DD because when when we had this uh prototype of of Helios, uh, we brought we brought our retail store, uh, with community feedback. Before we went down, we were like, hey, there's a cop break, you know, it's, it's, it's a prototype, and, and, and please try it. <laughs> no one, other than those who, who had information about Helios being or, or, or BA, questioned that it was a cop break. No one, absolutely no one. And then when, when, we, when, when, we, when we told them it's, it's, it's a cop break, they go, oh, uh, uh, uh yeah yeah this is this 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 is great so what you know like etc. And when 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 they found out it's not and it's all BA, they were like shocked and and then of course some of them were like uh you know it's not as good as etc. etc. So it's like we we know that you know not 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 everyone um uh really use their ears you know some some could be biased. So I mean wow. yeah I I think like it a lot a lot of it has to do with bias, mm -hmm. right because yeah. like. Even on this on the on a Symphonium website, you guys don't really talk about like what drivers in there, and that's fine. I mean, like, and people have to, like read really carefully to find out that's four BA. And I I and I I honestly don't think that like whatever is in there is important. Um. Uh, but like again, uh, I'm not I'm not big on a twelve dB sub bass boost, and I know it's very much you can, and I I that's like my biggest point of criticism when it comes to the IEM. So like what what the fuck? <laughs> I mean, I, I you 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 have Genelex, uh, you have Ocal. I, I went to the Genelex showroom and, and, and listened to the A three five one with them without stop. So that's my take on 
what is neutral. That is neutral base. Well, I mean, uh, one of the things that um we really tried to do was to make the hero sound impressive, right? And we started subtonic on the basis of um to be being open to new ideas, new suggestions, right? Uh, we didn't want to like um mold ourselves to the preconceived notions of uh, what BA can do and what BAs cannot do. So, um. I mean, if you've seen a Helo's uh, frequency response graph, uh, you, you will notice that the 200 hertz is a bit uh, more recessed. And if you talk this this 200 hertz recession to Ken about one and a half years ago, he would be like, no, it's way too thin, uh, doesn't sound that good. <laughs> yeah, so I, I guess with the Helios, it was also a lot about um, being open to new ideas and realizing that, hey, sometimes uh, by recessing 200, you can get a very, very separated and distinct sub base that feels like a, kind of like how a properly damped kind of, kind of a speaker in a room would sound. But the huge sub bass thing, yeah, it, it, it is a very Ken thing, for sure. <laughs> yeah, like I, I, I listen to it, like that's why I say it's a very Ken I am, because like, the 12, 12 dB sub bass lift is quite like ridiculous. But um, I, I don't know what kind of reception that you guys had yet, but it's been quite well in, in the AD Discord. But I think I'm the only person that says that, you know, I'd much rather take the core and approach to let, let it be like eight or six. Yeah, but here's, here's the thing, you see, like, most people, they, are, they may or may not have uh, 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 speakers, but their speakers roll off, right? And, and I, I had the opportunity to be in, in a treated room with flagship, Genelec, you know, DSP, you know, and, and etc. So, like, I know what real, like, control environments are like. So Yeah, but so those, are, those are tuned flat, though. They're not tuned to have a lift, right? Yeah, here, here's mm -hmm. the thing. Thing, uh -huh. Oh, well, I, 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 I'll let, I'll let Con, you know, like explain this. We, we discussed about that. I'll let him have the limelight. Go, go <laughs> yeah. So, um, in terms of consumer, uh, what people tend to prefer most, right? Um, they will find that, uh, most of the music is still end up they're still being mastered on uh, a warmer kind of like uh a bit heavier of a sub bass lift uh compared to uh, like a truly reference plane kind of uh sorry not reference plane uh, like a flat kind of environment. So if you have like a like a bass kind of tilt. Uh, people tend to prefer that kind of music, and it is what music is being mastered for today, right? Um, very few people or even no one listens to music that is that uh in like a properly treated, hundred percent treated uh flat speakers. Uh, only pretty much only sound engineers do, and they do that only in the mixing phase. Whereas in the mastering phase, ha, huh, that's where it's different. Uh, and they would uh add more of a uh like a sub bass lift and as well as a general kind of uh broad bass lift, and. In the helios, that was what we wanted to capture, uh, really. Like that, that whole a huge like that feeling of uh sub bass just hitting your hitting your brain, tingling your, your brain, making you feel like, oh this is such a cool feeling uh, that I've not experienced before in other IEMs. Uh, right, yeah, but and... there's go ahead, Ken. Yeah, and it's like, well, because of you know, earphones bypass, you know, like your body, right? You have the, the, if you have a speaker, you have a subwoofer, it hits your body. So like this lifted sub bass. In, in IEM measurement is to emulate what it is in speaker and etc. So like so because of how it bypasses certain parts of our body, you know, the FR in if 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 the FR is completely flat on IEM, it will, it will sound like garbage. We all know that. Right. Mm. Okay. Yeah. So so that is our take on what is neutral with well to some people of course you know it may be sub uh, base a bit, but not all. I guess like for for my main concern with the IEM is has less to do with less to do with the, the quantity, but more to do with like the quality of the bass. Just because like I, I guess I, I am like it's been a long time since I've listened to an IEM. But like I, I feel like um if you can't emulate a a sub bass, like a subwoofer quality of sub bass, you shouldn't have the subwoofer quantity of sub bass lift in an environment. Um, that that's that's just my takeaway from it. And and like twelve dB is, I I. And again, I I think I have the same like concern, like because like people would say it sounds disconnected from the rest of the frequency just because the the bass shelf cutoff is so sharp. Um, is that something that you guys had to worry about just in terms of like that big dip that you hit once you hit 200 hertz? One of you? 
Or we can start first. Oh, sure. Yeah. Um, so, um, previously we did do uh, public testing, right? Like we mentioned with the quad grid. Um, one of the feedback was that, hey, um, people felt that, hey, there was, uh, like, there was a bit too much mid base, And we realized that um, the more mid base we actually included, people found that a bit uh, uh, muddy sounding, right? So what we, what we really wanted to do was to really clean up um, the whole presence of the mid base uh, within the whole uh, frequency response. Um, and, it's, and as such, um, we didn't want to make something too, like, quote-unquote normal, right? Like, we see a lot of, like, normal sounding items out there. All, all of them have like a uh, a bit of an elevated 200 or even massively elevated. Uh, we didn't want to like provide the same kind of experience uh, in an IEM. We want to do something a bit more special, but not within the realms of being like, wow, this is way too colored, uh, way too uh, ino- inorganic, uh, way too um, fake in some sense. Yeah, so by reducing the mid base, I would say that um, personally, for me, of course, um, I, I do like the balance a lot, actually. Uh, with regards to the whole um two hundred hertz kind of um like cut or reduction. Uh, maybe can one say uh for your thoughts. Well I mean the 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 the, the, the whole the whole base being like uh too too much. I think people are used to uh very warm sound. Um because there's so many IMs out there being so warm a lot of mid base C but the thing is, a lot of consumers, uh, even when they have headphones as well as speakers, it's the same thing. You know, the 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 the, the, the speakers are attuned, slight V, warmish, mid bump. So, so this is what they, they are used to. So definitely, when 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 we when we like you know check with the community, a lot of them like no, nah, this is not this is not this is not like um normal like like uh common right. But when I ask them, is the sound wrong? You know, they can't say it's wrong because it is not. So 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 instead of um having like, well making something that's the same as anything everything out out there, we we are here to bring um to, to the to the scene to the market to the marketplace uh that, hey you know like whatever in pro audio um whatever in 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 live in 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 in, in studios we we we're, we're trying to bring it to our products in our own way. That's our in, our interpretation of what is neutral uh, or what is correct okay um now um i understand the the price point of the iem is eleven hundred dollars american um and i brought it uh, my the concern up for uh with anthony up the the price point is definitely uh very competitive within the range because there is a lot of thousand dollar ish iems on the market um so I guess so I guess I'll, I'll pass it on to the marketing guy corn so like so obviously you guys are putting this out as like you know hit symphoniums putting it out as an eleven hundred dollar IEM and now they're competing against all the the, the people's kilobot big dogs right um how do you see you guys competing against those IEMs without naming other names? <laughs> honestly, uh, honestly, we are very confident with our product. Um, we simply believe that it is great sounding. Like it, um, it has tonally or, very little flaws. And... Everybody believes that their child <laughs> is the most beautiful child in the world. I'm here to say that it looks very <laughs> ugly and it has a big bias in its bottom. <laughs> well, no, uh, as in, well, 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 like. Uh, that, that's... One um, thing about the the market side, the business side. Like, let, let let me talk about like technical side, right? So, how many IEMs out there at this price point has sub base extension and treble extension to this level? Absolutely nothing. And and as as a matter of fact, it, it is funny to know that um, I was trying to push Symphonium to sell it at. At, at about 1,005 USD. They refuse to because they want they, they, they want to like, you know, have a very competitive price in the market. And I think at 1,001 is very competitive. And I, 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 and very, I say to you, Ken, uh, every uh, parents uh, think their child uh, should be in an Olympian when they're, when they're growing up. But sometimes that uh, your child is not fit to be an Olympian. Sometimes the, the bronze medal is good enough and not the gold. 
I believe that. And I'm gonna I'm I'm not gonna disagree with you just because I don't really have listening to too many IMs in my time. But like I, I, I do like I'm very okay with the, the technical side of the IEM and it's definitely very excellent. Not because I have faith in you can. It's just the fact in general that, you know, not too many and you're right, there's not that many neutral oh, sorry, neutral IEMs out there in the market. Right? And even of those IEMs they're they're quite um less than fine, let's just say. Um um, but there's the, 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 the but the but without that um you are onto the idea of like picking between its sound signature right and I always tell people that there's so many IEMs uh that's around a thousand dollars you just have to pick your favorite sound signature and and you can and, and ask me uh correct me if I'm wrong and you believe that its technicality its technical ability will set itself apart from all the other thousand dollar items. Is that what I'm getting from you? Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well well let's see about that. <laughs> <laughs> well I mean like, you know, let's let let the reviewers with more IEMs than I do, uh, uh let let's see what they think about that, you know? And obviously it does sound very neutral. I think the the, the tuning itself lends it, itself to a more technical sounding IEM. Uh but you know, uh I I'm I'm curious but no go back to corn yes so so the the thousand dollar price point you you are competing with some big dogs and can already touch up against touch up on his technical his faith and technical abilities what's your faith what's 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 the blue what's the red pill that you're taking oh i'm i'm also very very confident like um ken and i think it's a really a killer price point like hey even though hey it's, i mean it's like a 4ba right like everyone knows it's a 4ba but even it being a 4ba I believe that personally, right, we have maxed it out to the max level and it performs way more than like the number of BAs it has in some sense, in the capacity. And I mean, if you compare to IMs around that price point, I mean, without na naming names, as you said, I really think that it just beats all of them hands down. But like, yes, but also I think like when it comes to like marketing something um, and, and like I, I'm not the person to count drivers. I think like people like, you know, like I, I feel like, like I, I always feel like hybrid is the future. Right. Mm -hmm. And, and I feel like that and again, I, I'm not going to say that um, this is your IM is not technically capable, but just in terms of like driver configurations, I feel like hybrid is the future. And I feel like putting out, a low BA count thousand ish dollar IEM in twenty twenty one is a little bit uh dare I say behind the times. Okay, okay, here's what the interject, right? So so here's here's like like I mentioned during the community feedback, the, the priest conceived notion for for some and know that it's it's, it's for BA. You know, you know, we are here to prove that, you know, it's not of course you need a minimum amount to make it work. And of course like if you, if you don't have four wheels on, on your car you you know it's gonna be a prop. So yeah, but we 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 we're, we're bringing to the market you know like every single BA counts. It's not we're not putting additional BAs, additional drivers, whatever you know. Like we have planners, um, uh, prototypes, etc. And 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 in in our R and D, right? And it, it's not about putting more drivers in. It's what what the driver, what each driver can do, and absolutely, at like at four BA, like like what Colin mentioned, it it is maxed out, right? And it's just a teaser to, to the world, you know, what uh, Subtonic uh, can do in terms of maxing out every single driver. So, so, so Subtonic utilizing old technology of the past <laughs> by making it the best that we can ever be with old technology. Is that, is that, is that the, is that the slogan here? <laughs> well, that's, that's a good one. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, but of course, um, as Subtonic, as a design firm, right, um, we do also have other technologies that um, we've developed in house. Um, it's just that, um, uh, currently right now we need to license the um the flag technology, uh, in collaboration with uh Symphonium. So of course, moving forward, uh, as you see Subtonic IMs, um, you will see new technologies are uh, being implemented. Uh, some really never seen before in the market that I I really don't think that anyone else have has done or tried. 
Uh, so speaking of the future, let's just uh, out with the old, in with the new. Can we talk about the future? Is there like a leak? You 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 can stop me whenever you want. You you feel free to say we can't talk about that. So there is a rumor floating around in the community that the the, the subtonic corn corn eight that I like to call call it is uh is is in the work. Whatever however you guys to call it, because. Uh, we do understand that Corn had a collaboration with like a Polish IEM company, right? Way way back when. Yes. Um, and that's that, and that's all public knowledge, right? I'm not like spilling any beans here. Mm-hmm. And that, so so, are you guys trying to implement that uh, in Subtonic? Is that like a, because like this is a collaboration. This obviously the Helios is a four BA collaboration with a uh, with Symphonium. So like. So like, is there like a, obviously there's a next step to that, right? So, so what is this next step for, for you guys? Well, about the whole Polish thing, um, it kind of just fell apart due to COVID. Um, on, yeah. On, on, on... <laughs> That's quite racist. That's quite racist. Wow. Wait, what did I say? No, no, no. <laughs> it was out of context, Raj. That, I said like, come on, you, you, you sounded racist out of context. <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, as in, it really just, um, yeah, it didn't work out because of, like, COVID timelines and, um, right. yeah, we didn't, we couldn't, like, work together uh, really well. Obviously, they're in another country, right? It's quite yeah. hard to work with yeah, somebody yeah, quite yeah, internationally. Yeah, right? I mean, as much as uh, we are very, very good friends, um, it wasn't uh, very possible at that time. Yeah, so we really, um, so I decided to start Subtonic with Ken, of course. And our our first creation was to make something so good they will blow everything in the market, like destroy everything in the market. And uh, it will be our statement piece. Uh, it will be our statement to the world to show uh, what Subtonic can really do, right? Um, we uh, create and develop new technologies as well as um, well, work with other OEMs such as um, Symphonium Audio and implement some of these technologies in their IEMs. But of course, we have our own line of IEM stats really to come and yeah the flagship you will see soon um yeah that will blow everyone's minds so soon like how soon can, can you can you tell us how soon that it's coming out and and obviously you you already says that there's no expenses spent uh, and i would assume mm. that's that's gonna yeah. be quite expensive um uh so maybe like a ballpark of how much when it will come out and how much it would be, or or you can you feel free to tell me now. You can say like it's still in discussion, like whatever, because I understand like all this business things that you don't want to talk about, and that's fine. Just poking at you, at it, you know. I mean, should I give a teaser, Con? Yes, please do. <laughs> please do. <laughs> okay, we we are we are targeting um um uh, startup next year um launch, right? Um, well because. Due to COVID and stuff, there's a lot of uh, right. supply shortage and logistics, so you know it's not it's, it's not firm, right? But we're we're looking at that, and we're looking at a, a at a price of about uh, forty five hundred USD. Um, how much? Forty five hundred USD. I'm not paying for that. <laughs> yeah, you heard it right. <laughs> well, it, it's the sort of thing. Like it's kind of um in some sense. Um, like how Sennheiser has HE1, right? A statement piece. Um, it's really more of like um, a piece of over-engineering, so to speak, where we really um, max out everything we have uh, and exhaust all of our resources into this um, one big project. Hence the big uh, price point. Uh, sure, I guess. <laughs> um... <laughs> Uh, so I, I, it, is it going to be like a similar ish tuning or, or is that like yet to be decided? I don't know. And it's, it's definitely been, been decided we're, we're working on it. You know, this is, that will be a true, uh, subtonic, uh, 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 take on, on reference with, mm. without any, uh, limitation of budget, without any limitation of drivers, the only limit is fitting into one's year so yeah so that's that's the limit that we have to work with unfortunately because i i, I can make it and it's humongous and 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 the last community <laughs> feedback the shell was too big um it's it's some people when they try to fit it's as good as fitting my custom force fitting my custom so i was like okay we need to reduce the size so you're saying you are selling a four and a half grand iem it probably doesn't fit in anthony's ear is that what you're trying to say <laughs> well custom exists 
<laughs> oh, okay, so 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 he okay, so so he can just pay four and a half grand for for a custom that he can't really sell down the line. <laughs> There's no need to because the only thing that'll be better than that will be from us again. Oh, okay. So so when you release your next IEM that costs another four and a half grand, he just have to upgrade to that. Is that is that correct? <laughs> no, because the next the next model that is okay. So so we have a, a body series. So so this flagship belongs to the body series, and we have an essence series for. For the main, uh, you know, like the 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 more affordable, they are, they they're more suitable for like uh, um, all around use, right? So so for the Envoy series, the flagship, um, the future models will have different sound signature. We also want to okay. prove that hey, you know, uh, we can make a warm IEM sound good. We can make a bright IEM sound good. We have all the methods to make any sound signature sound good. Can you tell something? Tell me something that's more like uh palatable. That's not like you know. Five thousand dollars, right? So, so for the Embody series, yes, you know, it's like no expense pass, max R and D, so so the cost is high. For the Ethan series, then of course we we are not cutting corners there, you know, we're we're not we're not we're not like reducing the performance, you know, just just to make it cheaper. But we work within a a, a feasible parameters, and 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 well, like you said, make it more palatable for for the for the for the entry level or 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 the or the or the, or, or the mid range uh market. So we are looking at uh, an entry level model of uh eighteen hundred uh USD. Wait, that's not an entry market price point, <laughs> first of all. No, because we do the best thing, and that's 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 entry level to to us. Well, yes, but that that's not entry level <laughs> price point. That's yep, more. Yep. I I yep. This, this, okay. This, 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 Mid range price point, but it's entry level for us. That is what. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. In 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 our like quote unquote like entry level stuff, right? Um, we still use uh very very high quality components, and we really still like we end up min maxing the drivers. We don't we don't really drive a stack. Um, we really want each driver to perform like the like the max possible um like, at the max possible use case, and therefore um our crossover tends to be very 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 complex. Okay, and and and. And you so so you so what you're telling me that you have two two IEMs in the works down the line. Um, and I'm calling you guys as in the beginning of next year. So like, uh, let's say like spring of 2021, 2022, I guess. Um, are are they both coming out at the same time? Are they like one after another? Like, uh, like maybe the general sense. What? Like the timeline. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll do a launch. Uh, both at the same time. Uh, just okay. so customers have a uh, like at least two options to pick from, right? <laughs> well, yeah. uh, well, this is not not much of an option when when one of them is about five thousand dollars. I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean that's what the uh that quote unquote entry level is for. <laughs> okay, yeah. I, I I am willing to to lend you guys my my slogan uh into for your company a a royalty royalty free slogan. Okay, subtonic. Just don't be poor. <laughs> How do you like that? Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, like um, seriously so speaking, in terms of uh, brand positioning, uh, like I mean, of course, due to the price, uh, we're really targeting the the upper echelons of the market. Um, really the the higher end boutique kind of um market position, right? Where people are looking for a right an end game, so to speak, where they just wanting really really good and uh, they can shell out, um, like uh, they can afford it and they can, uh, well, pay for it. Yeah. Um. Uh, let me add, go ahead. Let me add, just like you know, just like I mentioned about Essence series being the mainstream, it doesn't mean that they are meant to be, like low budget and and and, and poor performing. No, even in Essence series, we 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 call entry level. Even at that price, we are very certain that at that price point. It will beat whatever is out there as a market. I'm sure you know you have a lot of confidence in your child, and I I do believe that not every child is to build to be an Olympian, Ken. Um, but but let me just get the naming correctly. So you have two series, the the lower end, quote unquote, to speak, right? The lower end that costs about two thousand dollars. Our called, mainstream, um, series called your, your Essence. Essence series, yeah. and and your top of the mind, low no budget spend. What is that series called? Body. Embody. So, yes. um, why does your series looks like shampoos? Got shampoo names. 
<laughs> well, well, now that you mentioned it, <laughs> no, but um, in terms of uh, like we want to capture what the the series meant to us. We didn't want to okay. call it like a flagship series or like hey our main like our main line series. That's that's a little bit boring. So we called it embodied because it really embodied um well uh, what we each of like the, our founding members uh, what we thought there was the uh like the best possible sound. For example, in let's say a reference sound or a even like a V shape or even warm. So we we really wanted to, like recreate the experience of um it being uh that that sort of signature taken to the highest possible level. Whereas for the Essence series, it is more of a, hey, let's go back to our roots. It's more like a like a fundamental thing, right? Where we trickle down our technology from our Embody series and we implement down and we reduce the cost. So, which is why we call it Essence because it represents our our fundamental understanding and knowledge of um what uh in some sense a more accessible market uh would prefer. Accessible. It's like reducing costs in terms of optimization. Uh, for the for 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 cost, not cutting corners. We do not cut any corners in subtonic, hmm. right? And and you guys and 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 obviously, uh, those two ions will also be produced by Symphonium. Is am I am I getting that correctly? Yes, yes. They they are our partner for manufacturing um our our IEMs uh for yeah for for the current for the current lineup. Well, for the future, hmm. um, yes. uh. And and obviously Symphonium is also a hundred percent uh Singaporean um company. Uh it, yes. that's what I'm getting at, right? So and, and yes. obviously you guys are uh you you guys in Subtonics are Singaporean as well. Yes. So so it's like it's hundred percent like all those uh um uh, Singaporean things. Uh depends on if people like that or not. Um uh, I, I obviously don't because I, I personally hate Singaporeans. Um I can't I can't stand them. I don't know why I'm talking to you guys. Well, unfortunately, in, including our accessories, right? Because like um our 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 cable um mm. is also Singaporean, you know, uh, hand hand braided, hand finished, you know, and there it was everything is is completed in, in Singapore. And for our our couch, also our our, our leather case, we 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 commission a a local Singaporean artisan hand stitch every single track. On our leather pouch, for the embody series, hence hence the price point of of the IEM. Yes, every ten year is mm. hand finished. Yeah, it is and a everything. yeah. It is really a like um to show that Singapore can do it. Like, we can do things, and um it is not just an IEM. You're buying experience. You're buying kind of like a ecosystem in some sense where you're supporting uh different manufacturers and uh people living. Yeah, Singapore. but I'm not Singaporean. Why should I support your economy? <laughs> for us is 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 we want we want to uh, produce something proudly Singaporean mm. uh, because we can. I understand and and I'm I'm American so so tell me so tell me for for the for the American out there why why should I buy your shady Singapore okay, I I can't do a Southern accent so like I I understand the cost when it comes to you know um having everything produced locally. But like that has nothing to do with concerning a consumer when it comes to your four and a five grand IEM, and I do understand like you know, um, uh, R and D costs and all that stuff, right? And, um, uh, so obviously for now, uh, the Helios is out. Obviously, very exciting for from you guys from from Symphonium, um, and you guys have two more IEMs in the work. That's, uh. A magnitude more expensive mm -hmm. than uh than the Helios. Um, have you ever tried to take a step down, so people who are less financially fortunate, I, I might say. Okay, so, oh, sorry, my bad. People who are poor can afford your IMs. For for the peasants out, do you have something for the peasants out there? That's what I'm asking. <laughs> or or is that just like a like a bourgeoisie mentality from from the Singapore boys, who just <laughs> like because because you know obviously that the offer is still out. You can completely use my slogan by the way. Just don't be poor. So 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 do you have like anything like for for the peasants who are, just not as fortunate as you Singapore boys. 
to 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 like get a taste of this like quality quality, so to speak. So as a as a design house, um, um, uh, the subtonic brand, um, uh, uh, there's any product released under our brand, uh, will be premium. That that is non negotiable. Like uh, like what Tom Tom mentioned, like uh, we can be engaged as a consultant uh, by uh, by 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 other companies, and of course, you know, if it's feasible, we we, we can design things that are you know, more but more economic, and and then to be at different price points. So it's like yeah, it's so it's like company X product, but um with with our injection of technology. Okay, so please go buy a Helios if you're not poor. Uh, it's quite cheap. It's 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 most likely going to be the cheapest product that ever had the subtonic name on it. So if you if you you know if you are a normal person who's who's willing unwilling willing to spend a thousand dollars for an IEM, to just you know, just just forget about it. But no, please, I I think the best thing I can say about Helios is just please do do you give it a try. It does sound very unique for the thousand dollar price point. Uh, uh, fortunately, I don't like. I shouldn't like it as much as I do. I and I don't. It's uh, obviously in my. Mind. But other people do like. No, I no, I think other people like it. But I think it's awful. Um, just in terms of the tuning, right? Um, but but I am looking forward to uh, you know how well Helios does because I do think it's something mm -hmm. special, and I am very good friends with you guys. Hence why I'm not yelling at you guys uh, yet. Um, but the uh, I am looking forward to the other two release, which I am getting a free unit for. Right? Is that correct? We'll see about that. Um, uh, <laughs> that's not the right answer. That's not what we agreed on. Okay. Well, so start, looking forward to. Well, you start shilling it harder. Uh, they will provide you with uh, review units. Sorry, sorry. My bad. My bad. Yes. Please go buy the best thousand dollar yes. item ever made to mankind. <laughs> yes. The Symphonium <laughs> Helios. You can get it exclusively at symphoniumaudio.com. Right. Okay. There you go. Symphoniumaudio.com. Please go if you you will be hard pressed to find anything else better than this under two thousand dollars. It's definitely punched well above its weight, and I cannot believe it only has four. B so am I getting the free units now? Uh yeah, uh, I just contacted DHL to ship a unit over right now. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. I'll I'll be looking forward to that four and a half grand I am in my in my pocket uh, soon enough. No, I'm just kidding. I am not getting them for free. Um. But um, yeah, looking forward to uh, you know again how how other people's thoughts on the Helios and about your future projects. Any closing words for you guys? Corn go first. Please try my products, please. I'm starving. I need help. Please feed me. <laughs> <laughs> like like uh, for 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 me, it's like well, um, you just need to try it and 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 hear it. For yourself, you know, it's like no no amount of words can can describe it. We, we don't we don't need to hard push. We we're so confident that the product will will push itself. You just have to try it. Okay. Yes. Uh, yes. But but make sure next time less less sub base, please. Okay. <laughs> maybe maybe not. <laughs> all right. All right. Maybe put a DD yeah. in there. See what side of the big oh. cans uh wakes up in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll trade off like 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 two B two DB lesser sub base, but two DB more uh uh base maybe mm. you know. <laughs> yeah, I, I, yeah, I, I think definitely something that a little bit warmer and less sub base would take definitely be more palatable. But I understand that you know why you guys did this, what you did. Um, but you know, yeah, good good luck in the future. Hopefully, we'll do this again when you launch your your next two uh your next flagship. And hopefully I uh I, I will get to keep that IEM for, 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 for a time. <laughs>